Hi, it's John here. Have you ever wondered how some people get so much stuff done? It's just amazing. Well, I want to give you a few tips on how to get things done. Right, say you've got a huge task before you. Say your, um, your car is, is, uh, is about 20 or 30 years old and it's failed its MOT. And you think, I don't really want to get rid of this car, I really like it, and I think I'm going to restore it. I'm going to restore it myself. Now that's a big project. Now how do you go about doing it? Well, first of all, you need to take an overall view of the job. And then, once you've got a picture in your mind about what needs doing and what doesn't need doing, yeah, don't do, don't do what it doesn't need doing. No point in uh, making it for yourself. Then you need to break the tasks down into manageable sizes um, so that they can be approached one by one. So perhaps the first task might be working out how to access all the parts and um, uh, getting them getting getting them ordered. And obviously, the cost is, is another aspect of it. So you need to um, work out whether you have actually got the funds to do the project. If you haven't got the funds to do the project, it's a bit of a waste of time starting it. But uh, if you have got the funds, then you need to, to uh, work out the viability of it also. I mean, there's no, no point putting good money after bad. But the key to any big project is the breaking down process. And if you think of um, something as mundane as doing a jigsaw puzzle, when you get the pieces out of the box, it's all, and you start putting the pieces on the board, it begins very, very slowly, and you don't know whether you're actually going to get the whole job done. But you have to sort of grit your teeth. Perhaps at that time you can't really even see the, uh, the end of it. But there is a, is, is, a, is a part of sort of gritting your teeth and just plowing on just doing one piece at a time in the faith that you are getting somewhere and uh, and you're moving forward all the time and then the, you, we all know that uh, position when you get to the end of a jigsaw puzzle you've just got about four or five pieces left and it's um, it, it, everything becomes so easy doesn't it it's just like um, Oh, that one goes there, that one goes there, that one goes there, that one goes there, and I've completed it. And that's just how a, a big project is. You've been toiling away for a long, long time, and then suddenly, it's all done. I mean, when you're doing the, uh, the mundane work, you know, you might actually enjoy it. It might, you know, you might actually be the sort of person who just loves to have something in front of you. And, and say you're doing a tapestry. And, and it's actually the process that you enjoy rather than the completion. What we have to remember is that everybody is, is different and everybody enjoys different things. For some people, the process of a mundane job may give them the raison d'etre for living, you know, the raison d'etre, the reason for living, the reason for life. You know, I just need something to get up in the morning and go and do, to make me feel right. So, um, just because, um, I mean, I, I'm not quite like that. I, I, I like to get things done. I, I'm a real impulsive sort of person. You know, I like to get, I like to, uh, I, I, I like to get something finished almost before I started. 
you know, I'm not very good at the um, mundane stuff and all. I prefer not to do it. I, I like new ideas all the time. Feed me, feed me, feed me. But uh, no, it's like that. It's, it's fair that in mind when we're, when we're thinking about um, how, how people operate. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. Please leave any more ideas in the box below if you uh, if you can help me in any way, because I need help. <laughs> Don't we all? Right, bye.